Welcome to the lesson that will get you started with using Photoshop CS6. The first thing I recommend you do if you haven't done so already is open up the computer class folder that you should have created for class. You should probably already have folders in here. I'm going to right click in that folder, choose new folder and type in explore so that when I do an activity on the explore website, I will put everything into that folder. I'm going to demonstrate a really quick technique in Photoshop where you can change the eye color. Specify large in your search and I'll go ahead and get this image as long as it is of good quality. So this is of good quality. I will right click and I will choose save image as. I will go to that desktop folder, computer class, explore, and I will call this blue eyes and I will save it. I will then go to the start menu and I will open up Adobe Photoshop CS6. If it's not showing, you could expand by going to all programs. You could locate the folder called Adobe Design and get all of the applications for Adobe. I will go ahead and open Adobe Photoshop CS6. When Photoshop loads, choose File, Open. Go to that folder on your desktop in this case and locate Computer Class Explorer and open up the image. So what I want to do is give this baby green eyes. So it's really important that you come over here to the right and choose under layers. You would choose new layer. If that's not showing, it's because you need to go in and choose window, layers. This is where all your windows are. You're going to need also the tools. These are the tools over here on the left. So I'm going to make sure that layers is available. I will click on that drop down arrow and choose new layer. Notice that little transparent top layer. Now what I'm going to do is come over here where it's red and I'm going to choose green. I will then take the paintbrush. Now see there's the paintbrush. Now I'm going to change the size to make it a little larger. And I'm going to start painting the eye green. Now let's say the bell is ready to ring. I'm not done. Keep that in mind. The bell is ready to ring and I need to get going. So I choose File, Save. Notice the format needs to be PSD, Photoshop. I will choose Save and then OK. So then when I come in the next day, I should be able to go to that Explore folder, click on that PSD application and it should load Photoshop. So there it is. You need to keep your layers. If you, if you no longer had layer one, you would lose the ability to keep editing that layer. So now what I'm going to do is on layer one with the green, I'm going to choose normal and change it to color. You could also change the opacity in that layers window if you want. I will choose file save because I still might want to keep editing. But if I want to put this on a website, share it with a friend via email, I would choose file save for web. The format PNG slash 24 at the top is one of the better formats. The general rule of thumb is you save photographs as JPEGs or PNGs. This image is huge, as you can see. So now I will choose Save. I will get to that folder on my desktop. Go to Explore, and I'll call that Blue Eyes Finish. This concludes the session on how to use Photoshop CS6. Until next time. You have a wonderful day.